Hello, everyone. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me for Kineo Office Hours. I am so glad that you guys took the time to join me today, and I hope that you will continue to take the time to join me in uh, future sessions. So today what we're going to talk about is utilizing objectives in appraisal. So last week we talked about objectives and what they were and um, how, how learners can utilize them with their managers. This week we're going to talk about how those can be pulled into appraisals. So let's go ahead and get started. A little bit about myself, my name is Taylor Craig, I am the Platforms Consultant here at Kineo, and I get to train all of our uh, current clients, potentially new clients, uh, brand new clients, I work with you guys during implementation. So uh, you will work with me along the way in any implementations or any customizations typically um, that you have done. So I kind of have my hand in a little bit of everything. All right, so let's get started. Remind me what objectives are again. So objectives are going to be basically goals that learners can create and build inside of a learning plan inside of Todra. So if you're not using learning plans then and you would like to use objectives, you need to turn learning plans on. To do that, that's going to be underneath your advanced features, learning plans. Okay, and you just need to enable that. Uh, learners have the ability to go into those learning plans if you allow for objectives as part of that uh, part of the workflow of that learning plan. Learners can potentially go in, add their own objectives. Managers can come in and add additional objectives, and uh, it's intended as a tool for those learners to sit down with their managers and discuss yes, I'm achieving these objectives, or no, I'm not, and here's why. So it's a, it's a learning, learning mechanism for employee improvement. So, oh yeah, now we know what they are. Oh, and I can use them in appraisal. Yes, you absolutely can. Um, we use it here at Kineo. So let me just show you. I'll show you an example. I am actually going to show you my my personal annual review. I just did this recently, and here are some of my objectives, some of my goals that I had for myself with myself and my manager. Um, so completing the setup for a starting point site. When I was done, we created a different site. Um, established training questionnaire. We've been working on that, all that good stuff. So these were some of my objectives that I was really interested in bringing back up letting my manager know I've completed this, or I haven't finished it, or this is what's going on. Okay, so that's how we utilize it here internally. And let's take a look at an example on a demo site. So I have, and kind of how that works. Let me get, okay, so here's Sharon. We were using this uh, account last week where we went and we created those learning plans, or the, she created the learning plan, she added objectives. Let's go ahead and just kind of step back through where she did that. So underneath her record of learning, she went into her learning plan, she added a learning plan, okay, and she should have one, there it is right there, active plan. Sorry guys, annual goals. And underneath the objectives tab, she had already added a few, but I think in our last session we said she wanted to be more efficient with her time. That was in progress. It was very high priority to her. She set herself a due date of next year. Okay, so we talked about this last time, and there were some comments put on that. Okay, so let's pretend it's time for her annual review. So if it is, an appraisal has likely been created by an administrator and assigned to potentially a group of people. If you haven't um, learned much about appraisal, they may not be on by core on your site, so you may need to go and turn those on. It's also underneath advanced features, appraisals, and you just enable that, and then that gives you another area in the site administration menu, and we'll talk about that. So when an appraisal has been assigned to you, you will see the performance tab appear at the top of the screen. So she has her performance tab. She can come in here and she can review all of her appraisals. So in my case, I can go and I can see the last couple of appraisals that I've had. Um, but she's going to come in and take a look at her latest appraisal. So this one is going to be, she's got an initial setup, mid-year review, end-of-year review. There's three different 
stages to this appraisal. So appraisals allow you to have stages um, and can you can set them up where they can't continue until the manager maybe completes the stage. Okay. So in this case, she's going to come in, she's going to say start. And there is the ability to add in a question type, I'm using air quotes, a question type um, where you can pull in objectives. You can also pull in additional goals, things like that. So what happens for her if she gets this button that says choose objectives to review? When she clicks that, it is going to pull up her objectives. And it's only going to pull up objectives that she has created for herself. Okay, and so she can come in here and she can choose which one of those objectives she would like to use. And you'll see here that it's giving her the option to choose between her learning plan. So if maybe she had um, an, a learning plan from 2016 and she still had objectives from that that maybe she hadn't completed, she would absolutely be able to pull those into this appraisal. Okay, so she can come in here and she can save as long as that, um, that uh, is still visible. Okay. Did I not say okay? I'm not hit cancel. Well, let's refresh. How does this always happen during office hours, guys? It always works for me before, and then this happens. <laughs> Let's try it again. I'm choose objectives to review. And it is not letting her do it. Well, that's fun. Go ahead and save our progress and see if that will help us. All right, well, generally it's really cool and it pulls them in. Let me pull my review up and see if we can look at that again from my perspective. So what happened with mine was I came in and I grabbed all of the objectives I wanted to talk about with my manager. What it did is it gave me a text box. And so in that text box, I gave my answer concerning what I needed to do with that objective. Here, I said, I'm sure that there's more that can be done. However, I'm very glad that I was able to get the recordings done for version 9 before I left for leave. So that was my answer. My manager has come back, and she commented to me, complete from my perspective, I agree, this is done. Right? So we also had a conversation about this. We went in, talked about it, and then determined that it was completely done, and we didn't need to add that to my goals for next year. Okay, so that is how that is supposed to work. Um, without a doubt, I always have something happen funny. Just seeing if there's maybe something going on with my connection here. Because I really wanted you to be able to see that. Well, it's of course not going to function for me today. But we would pull in and they would have the ability to do that. Okay, and then at that point, they would come through this appraisal, answer any additional questions. You're going to notice that we're logged in as Sharon, but we see this random man down here. This is Peter Porter, and he is her manager. Okay, so she's able to see him, and she sees currently that he has not answered. Once she submits this stage, it will then go to him. He will then come in. He will. You'll see the table turned a little bit reversed. You'll see her text completely static, he won't be able to edit that, but he will have the text box and then he can come back in and he can add those comments, just like Adria did for me. Okay, so let's talk about from an administrator's point of view, kind of how you might go about creating one of these appraisals so that if you want to utilize this in your future, you absolutely can. Okay, so again, if you don't have them turned on, you go to advanced features, locate appraisals, enable them. Okay, and then we have Appraisals, manage appraisals, and then from this, this particular area, you may have multiple in there, you may not. You'll notice that this is an active appraisal, so what that means is it is no longer editable, but I can replicate it or I can create a brand new one. So I've already created one. When you create one, 
and actually replicated it off of this one. So when you create one, it will bring you to a screen similar to this, where you will have the ability to change the title, give it a description, all that. We're going to go ahead and jump to the content tab. In the content tab is where you would add stages. So stages are going to determine who can answer inside of these stages. It is going to determine um, how, it is, uh, how it is progressed through. So it's basically giving you a workflow. So in this particular case, there are three stages. Each of them have a different completion expect um, expectancy date. Uh, and then we also have the different roles that can participate and answer. You can also allow other people to just view if, if they need to. So if you need a manager's manager maybe to view, you can absolutely set that up. Okay, so if I go in here and take a look at the options for the stage, we see that I can rename it however I want to. I can put in a different description. I can change the date, and then I can choose if I lock the stage to a particular person after they've completed it. So in this case, after my learners completed it, after my managers completed it, I want to lock it to them. I don't want them to be able to go back. Okay, so that is how your stages are going to function. So we're going to go ahead and cancel out of there. Then inside of those stages, so you select which stage you want to work in, which stage you want to add content to, and then you can create pages within those stages. Okay, so let's look at this real quick from Carol's point of view, or <laughs> Sharon's point of view. So here she is in stage one, which was set up. And then there are four pages, goals, personal development, competencies, and summary. So she's got four different pages within this one stage to complete. Okay. So back in as an admin, here's what it looks like from the administrator's point of view. Over here, you have multiple different question types that you can add into your appraisal. So you can put date pickers, file upload, long text, any of that stuff. But if you're wanting to pull anything from a learning plan into an appraisal, it's under here, under review questions. So you can pull courses from a learning plan, evidence from a learning plan. For those of you who aren't aware of what evidence is, evidence is going to be um, additional items that people can just add to a learning plan stating that they maybe attended a, uh, a seminar or something of that nature. They can pull programs in and even additional required learning. Okay, so basically it's going to give them that button, they can pull it all in and then you can discuss. Okay, so that is going to be how you would add that. That will give you this type of question here, and then they have that option. When you're creating an appraisal, you always want to preview it first, because like I said, once it's active, you can no longer edit. Okay. And this is what it would look like, so it looks how I want it to. I can click through it as an administrator and see what's going on there. Okay. I can also view it as the learner or the manager, whichever roles I've made available. Once you're done, you want to go up here, click Activate Now, then it is available. Underneath your Assignments tab, you can always add people to an appraisal as well. But you can assign this the same way you might assign a program. You can do it to a group, an audience, organization, or a position. Okay? So that is going to be utilizing objectives inside of an appraisal uh, and also kind of how to set up an appraisal and how to get those objectives in there, how to give people that option. So that is all I have for you guys today. I am going to turn the floor back over to you. As always, if you need a mic, just let me know in the questions box. I'll be glad to give you that. And anybody have any questions for me today?